So I was going to talk about what to do if your child really struggles with maths or maybe they don't like it very much, they lack confidence and perhaps they're not that great at it. What can we do that really helps? Well, there are four things that we can do that actually make a lot of difference. The first is what we teachers call number bonds. That is the pairs of numbers that add to make 10. These have a surprising effect on your fluency in terms of doing any sort of calculation. So if I do know those bonds to 10 and really, really well, then I can use them in all manner of other calculations. So if I know that three and seven make 10, then I know that 47 and three more is 50. I know that 125 and five more is 130. I can put these facts together. I can work out the bonds to 100. So I can say that 44 plus six is 50. So 44 and 56 is 100. Loads of maths becomes a load easier if you just know those bonds to 10 and can use them in those different contexts. And that same thing is true about tables. And children get discouraged about their times tables because they, they're told it matters that they learn them and they think, well, I don't know them, so I can't do it, so it's hopeless. Actually, there are only really two tables you need to learn off by heart. And I always say that to children. You know your ones, your twos, your fives, your tens. You can do your nines on your fingers. The only two you actually have to learn are your threes and your fours and you need to nail those. Nail them down properly so you really know them. And then most tables facts are available to you. You might not know four eights, but you know eight fours. And you can learn the odd, difficult, tricky fact in a, in a fun way. I ate and I ate and was sick on the floor. Eight eights are 64. Five, six, seven, eight. 56 is seven eights. We can learn the, the odd tricky one like that, but most of the tables facts are there if you've learned your threes and fours and you know your ones, twos, fives, tens, and you can do your nines. And then the third tip has to do with having a guess. Can they have a guess at the answer? Most of the time, we don't need an accurate answer in life. We just need an approximation. So I don't need to know that it's 12 minutes to 10. I just need to know that it's just gone quarter to 10. And I don't need to know that if I buy three bags of Satsumas and they're 36p each, what it's going to come to. I just need to know it's just over a pound. We use approximations all the time and they're very, very useful. So can the child make a good guess? What helps them make a good guess? Well, it's knowing the size of the numbers. I need to know that five is a tenth of 50. So anything that happens to five is going to be 10 times smaller than anything that happens to 50. And those sort of judgments about numbers are really, really helpful and really make a lot of difference to how you feel about how good at maths you are. And the fourth tip really has to do with having one good strategy for doing addition, one good strategy for doing subtraction, one for doing multiplication and one for doing division. Children commonly have this for addition, but they don't have it for subtraction. And I would always say, stick to counting up subtraction. Stick to good old fashioned shopkeeper's addition. It enables us to give change. It enables us to subtract in our head. It is much easier to count up than count back. And so I can work out the change by counting up. Multiplication, you need to know how to multiply by 10, by 20, by 30, and you need to know how to double. And then you can make a good approximation at most things you're asked to do, especially if you've nailed down those tables facts. And then division. The key thing here is understanding that division is the reverse of multiplication. I want to know what is 56 divided by eight? Well, the question can be put as how many eights makes 56? How many threes makes 24? How many threes makes 240? We can write a division as a multiplication with a hole in. It makes this much more accessible for children who find division a bit of a struggle. So those four things can really, really help turn children round. I've seen it a lot from being thinking they're rubbish at maths to actually being really quite good at maths. You know your bond number bonds to 10, you can use them. You know your tables, most of them, and you can really use those facts. You can make a good guess and you've got one good strategy for doing each of the mathematical operations. It helps a lot.